Bam De Niro. It's Bam De Niro. It's Bam De Niro. It's Bam De Niro. Bam De Niro. And you're watching Disney Channel. I paid up. Nah, that motherfucker was on sale, I think. It was a these bitches a hundred dollars though. I'm I know, know. bro. That looks expensive. That shit but nah. What's happening, Lit Gang? It's Bam De Niro. TV. We in this motherfucker, you heard? Right now, we on our way to get some food. Damn, I'm ashy. I'm always bro, ashy. Bro, look at my eyes, bro. I asked for some lotion at all. Bro, damn, you ain't see that big ass bottle of lotion. But I'm on my wow. way to I think we gonna get five guys. I ain't never had it. She ain't never had it, so I'm gonna go to Five Guys, cause I don't wanna, you feel me, go nowhere we done been too often. So we gonna hit Five Guys up real quick, sit down, talk about some shit. We gonna talk, we gonna talk with y'all, you feel me? Y'all stay tuned. We finna go get this food, then it's finna get sitchy. And I'm seeing a lot of hot ass cars right now. Y'all just wait till I cop my whip. Just wait on it. If I don't cop nothing brand new, just know I'm finna get a project car real soon. Camera shaky as hell, but we'll be back. <laughs> Check the flame, my guy. Why the fuck my shit moving so slow? Look at the ghetto. Bam De Niro. But look at the ghetto. This bitch. I'm sorry for the light, y'all. But why the fuck? Why do she got uh, the, the shoe up there? You see the ghetto, bro. Cause I got we open to make a video, and he got his. You feel me? Like I gotta do something. You feel me, brothers? The ghetto. Anyways, sorry, let's get this bitch going. Y'all already know what it is. We finna get this. Look, I hope y'all can see both of us. Cause if y'all can't oh um, fucking we, well, you gotta lean this way a little bit just in case. Let's get in your video. Yep, I just pulled some chick away out the back. Gangsta shit. Anyways, we got a up thing. Chick, why am I looking at your camera and my camera right here? Bro, that, saying, that's why I was thinking like, dang. But it's alright though. We gonna have to. It don't matter, bro. You, bro, what the fuck? This bitch got her eyes go both ways. Nah, but we gonna be on both videos. You feel me? We got the young chicken sandwich from Chick Fil A. I well, shit, I was gonna get chicken sandwich anyway because I don't eat that much shit from Chick Fil A, and I fuck with the chicken sandwich is heavy. Chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Mine got cheese on it though, and the nigga that took my order don't know what the fuck he was doing. Well, you put the little cheese on it, it cost you extra. Yes, sir. Or should I? I could have like traded it for the pickles. No, bro, it cost you extra. Wait. Trading for the pickles. Yeah, because you know you got the pickle option. But I ain't put pickles on mine, bro. That's nasty. You like a pickle. A deal pickle, bitch. Anyway. I put my sauce on like a fat person, first of all. Bro, I eat my fries first. Oh! Fuck! Dummy. Shut up, bitch. But I eat mine like that, too. That go crazy. But I eat my fries first before. Because these be getting cold, too, guys. But we got the little random topics for y'all, too. I'm gonna eat today. A little bit of everything. No. What what them here for over there? It's Mac Bros. Let me try one. It be be lying. Nah, no, it's Mac Bros. I be eating with a little barbecue sauce. That's Mac. You know, all right. These John's hidden. These John's hidden. These John's hidden. Y'all know what else? I figured out. I'm not saying I do this, but when you smack, you get all the taste of food. Smacks. But what you trying to start off with? I mean, I was just going to say that. What are we going to get into? Because niggas just eating. Man. I'm almost done with my food. I'm a fat nigga. I hope y'all know that. But nah. Let's start off with how many of this bitch met. How's it going? All right. Cause everybody be coming on my videos and be like, how did you embed me? Everybody, yeah, everybody be wanting to know how we met. So. Oh, shoot. Now I'm a baby kid, all right? Y'all ever seen the show Baby's Kids? Go watch it. You, you, if you ain't never seen Baby's Kids, go watch it. Y'all some youngins, y'all probably ain't never seen Baby's Kids. But it's a bunch of badass kids that's really not scared of nothing. And you're little kids. I'm talking like a baby and like some old kids. They bad as shit. But, so... We just grew up in basically the same area, mm -hmm. 89106. That same area code, she was in that area. Somewhere in that area, she lived. I didn't know where. I just knew she lived somewhere in the area. So we were running to each other at Doolittle or Doolittle is a fucking, it's a community center. Yeah, you know everybody. I mean, you know everybody up there. When you go there, you know everybody. They can live anywhere. You're just going to know them because they had Doolittle with you. Right. So I met this bit up like somewhere around there in the neighborhood and we start hanging out ever since. On me. But like, on me, bro. Went to school. Oh, God, bro. Well, actually, I should see Bam around. 
But we never was close, you feel me? I mean, we were Like, close, this year, though, we low-key, like, we got close this year. We was cool, but we wasn't close, you feel Man, me? Man, you would think we know each other for, like, years, bros. You would really think that, though. But now we just grew up on the same, the same part of the West, you feel me? Basically, because I still stay up there. I dropped a pimple in my car. <laughs> a pickle? If she, if anybody can tell you, I hate eating in my car. Boy, I'm over here eating as perfect as I can, like. Like, she will tell you, I fucking hate when people eat in my car. And my dumb ass just dropped a pickle in between the seats. Because she was the first to do it. Bro, never again. Only because I love y'all, man. I love y'all too over there. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, this bitch got y'all propped up on the shoe. The bitch is dumb. Y'all gonna see it in the damn video. Yeah, y'all see it in my video. But no. Nah. Give, give us another give us another topic, man. Alright. I don't know why, but people want us to explain our tattoos. But I only got three, you feel me? So it's not too much explaining that I can really do. But then I can give y'all a little something. I'm the complete opposite. I got a thousand tattoos. Yeah. I need to catch up the bell. He don't want to, he need, we need to get tattooed. We do. But. Let me tell y'all something about these tattoo situations. Growing up, I grew up in my grandparents' home. Now, I say, all right, so my mom had me and my, it was me and my sister. She was a single mom doing her thing. My sister stayed with my mom. I stayed with my grandparents simply because I like being in my grandparents' house because I had free Free will. I do whatever the fuck I want, basically. <laughs> basically. But I just didn't take that to my, like, you feel me? I didn't do too much with that. So, I, I've been with my grandparents since I was like three months old, chilling, doing my thing. My mom passed when I was 11. So, I went through phases to where I wanted to beat the fuck out of niggas. Like, it wasn't like, oh, I'm just gonna be sit here, cry, be sad. No. I am a furious person. Why my lights just blow up in my car? What the fuck? No, I'm a furious person, so I get mad fast. So, my mom passed. I was mad at everybody, mad at the world. Just heated. So, basically, I found ways to cope with that. Getting tattoos wasn't my ways, way of coping with it, but I started to find new ways of life when I looked at my, when I got tattoos. Like I started, like, every tattoo I got had a meaning, and it means a different chapter of life to me. <laughs> my three roses. I'm ashy as shit, so y'all don't, don't even... Don't say shit. But my three <laughs> roses. The three roses represent me, my granddad, and my grandma. The smallest rose is me. The medium-sized rose is my grandma. And the biggest rose is my granddad. Simply because the my stepping stones. You feel me? My grandparents raised me. They bust their ass to make sure I was, you feel me, set. I, I've been fitted all my life. You feel me? Not a lot of kids got shit. Like, you feel me? Like, my nigga Jai had to work for all the shit she get. You feel me? <laughs> not everybody gets stuff handed to them. I'm not saying I had everything in the world, but, like, right. nigga, I had shit kids won't. Like, so it's like I've never taken that shit for advantage. So the first tattoo I got, though, was the Annie, which is my grandma's name. My grandma's name is Annie. This is my first tattoo. When I tell y'all I was going through phases, I got this tattoo a week before my eighth grade graduation. And... I was expelled from, I was expelled from school. I was still attending school, but I was in a conference room for an hour a day. So it was pointless. Then you come over here. I got my, uh, I got a Bible scripture. Right before I start going crazy with YouTube, I got this Bible scripture put on my arm. It's basically telling you be strong, be courageous. Do not fear anyone but your Lord and Savior. Something like that. It was deep to me. I went to church one Sunday with my grandma. It was real deep to me. That day y'all saw me, the video I made of me in that purple suit, I had just got out of church, and I went to go get that tattoo the next day. I, it was deep to me. I, that, that, that Bible scripture I seen was deep to me right before we prayed. Then I got, of course, the dove. Y'all can't see it really. The year my mom was born and the year she died, and I just recently got a tattoo. It's a big-ass lion right here. If anybody already seen it, it's a lion right here with red eyes. And I got that lion basically to represent myself. Because, like, I'm the king of my jungle. Not the king of the world, but the king of my jungle. You get what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'm the king of my shit. Like, I am a 
independent ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Them, them really, that's really what my tattoos mean. And then I got blessed, slapped right on the back of my arm because I'm blessed. As a, in the, as a young man on the west side of Las Vegas. Man. We are in the trenches. We are on the worst side of Vegas. Nah, like, for real, though. Don't, 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 don't let nobody else tell y'all that. Something else, you feel me? And my tattoos, bro, I got I got four tattoos, but I really got three in my eyes because this tattoo right here, it really don't... It, I'm going to just show y'all why I said that. So, on my birthday, I, when I turned 17 last year, my mom was like, we can get a tattoo and all that. You know, everybody sometimes, everybody want their first tattoo to be their moms or something. You feel me? I got my... Do y'all not see this, bro? Mm -hmm. uh, and it was free. This a free tattoo. So after that, you feel me? I make my own money. My mama said, once we, like, you feel me? Once I got this one tattoo, like, my mama can't tell me not to get one because she be like... If you get one, you gonna pay for it? Yeah, I'm gonna pay for it. So I started going crazy for me. So I got the little money bag tattoo with the O T M right here. And I know what OTM mean, only talk money. Started my little thing for that. And then next you know I went back like two weeks later and I got the no love. I got no love for it. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I see I know my I know my pops, but then I really don't know him. And like it's like I I got no love for nobody that that really don't mean nothing to me. Like if you ask me only person I like I really love truly deep down is my mom because my mom's been there through everything, you feel me? Can't say nothing about my dad because that that's something else I'll tell y'all about, but it's really F for father, you feel me? And then I got the love. Uh, stay humble and hustle hard because it's like you gotta stay humble and you gotta hustle because it's not gonna come to you. And you feel me? Ever since though, I just been hustling by myself. Can't nobody tell me nothing. And like you know what I'm saying, independent, bro. Independent on the West. Real stuff. Independent hustlers. Like, y'all not understanding. I'm so independent that I have to pay taxes <laughs> physically on my own at 17 years old. Like, ain't no, ain't no, oh yeah, I work a job, they're gonna take taxes right. on their own. Hell no. If I don't pay Uncle Sam, <laughs> by April 15th, I'm fucked and I'm going to jail. Not juvenile, jail. I ain't got time for it. So you feel me? Like, I'm just saying, like, bro. Y'all live y'all life young while y'all can, man. I'm telling you, grown or not, right? I say I'm grown every day. I ain't fucking grown. Mm -hmm. If I could, I would run away from from the real world. I would run away from grown the grown life. I can't do this shit. If if I didn't care for y'all, I would have been quit YouTube simply because I know what can happen if I do the wrong fucking thing. If I take one wrong step on YouTube, it's over. You know what I'm saying? So, basically saying, I can make a million dollars this year, and ha I have to pay 15% of that million dollars back next year. Imagine I got a million dollars. What the fuck is it? Look this shit up right now. <laughs> Go to Google and tell me what is 15% of a, of a thousand, I mean, a million dollars. What's 15% of a million? I'm not saying I'm going to make a million dollars this year. If 15% if, if, if of fucking 3,000 is... What? Four, five, six hundred. What the fuck do you think? Fifteen percent or whatever the fuck I'm gonna be making at the end of this year gonna be. Y'all, y'all, look. Look, y'all. <laughs> this self employment is not it's it, it it's it on oh, my mama. It's where it's yeah. where to go. But the schools don't teach us this shit. Mm-hmm. The schools do not teach us this shit. I'm still a dummy. Right. I just learned I how to graduate yet. You feel me? I ain't even graduate yet. I just learned how to do shit. I'm down, but I tell I tell my people every day, bros. Anybody can make it. You can be dumb, stupid, retarded. I don't care what you is. I don't like using them words. But you can be right. either one of those. I want some real stuff. And make it some way, somehow. Like I don't need nobody to tell me how to make my money. Like right. I this the, the mindset I chose was I don't want to work for nobody. And when I when I stuck to that mindset, I made that some shit. Like, I actually turned that into something. I went from, I swear to God, before the 4th of July, I was working at a go-kart place. I was working at Mini Grand Prix. I was sitting on, I was sitting on this thing, slowing the cars down, speeding them up, stopping crashes and shit. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm not going to be doing this shit for the rest of the summer. Right. It's hot as hell. I'm out here pushing go karts. But then I thought to myself again, what the fuck I'm gonna do if I quit this job? What am I gonna do? 
Then I'm like, man, I'm not making that much here anyway. So let me go ahead and do my thing on, uh, all right, let me go ahead and just do my thing on YouTube. I come to YouTube, I post a video, it don't do shit. I post another video, it don't do shit. Do I give up? Hell no, I'm not giving up for nobody. Nobody. Because if I can see other people on YouTube that ain't even entertaining. Man. With over a million subs, boy, what the fuck? I can get at least a thousand. That's what. That's how I looked at it. You feel me? That's how I looked at it. Ain't nobody going to tell me I can't do something in this world. You get what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, if YouTube not a career for me, it's always other things I can do. If, if anything, I've made a name for myself. So once, if I do fall off YouTube, I'm going to have a way to promote myself, do something better in life. You feel me? Like, like it's... Life's just so fucked up, y'all. Y'all gotta understand. Life ain't perfect. Life is shit like that. It, it's hell. Man, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Time. People just, people don't even understand, bro. And I'll be like, bro, what I've been through as a kid, bro, can't nobody ever, like, tell me I can't be as happy as I am right now doing what I do. Because, like, you do not know what I've been through, you feel me? To understand why, see, everybody don't know this. So I be, I smile all day. I try to make everybody else happy. You feel me? I be going through, through, I be going through stuff too. You feel me? Don't think I'm perfect. Everything I wear, I be, I buy or, or do with it. I did it myself. You feel me? I, I ain't saying my mom don't help me out, but my mama see that I'm becoming older and stuff, learn how to take care of myself and do things by myself. So she let me do that. You feel me? Because I'm responsible. I'm going to take care of things. And that's what people don't get, though. People don't get that, bro. If you do something, do it right. Last thing I want to touch on is I don't live a perfect life. I've never lived a perfect life. Neither one of us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, so it's like it might look like I'm winning right now because you see me driving something nice or, or you see me doing shit that you don't get to do or something like that, bro. That don't mean I'm really living life, bro. Money is not what's gonna make me happy. I'm I'm happy. Right. I'm happy with where I am. I'm still young. I'm doing, you feel me, things that most people young people not doing. That's not even doing. You, you feel, feel me? me? I know niggas 20, 21, older than that, not doing shit with their life still right now. Still staying with their mom, but still trying to sell me? drugs, still trying to gangbang when you feel me, nigga. That's that all that shit played out, bro. All that shit played out. It's 2020. You know what I'm saying? So it's like uh, I look at it that way. Like I've never been perfect. I've never lived a perfect life. I ain't grew up with a silver spoon in my mouth. I was just simply treated with with, with, with more than I should have been treated with. Like, I was spoiled as a kid. I'm not going to lie. On some real shit, I, I was spoiled. But I'm not like, oh, rich kid spoiled. Oh, yeah. You know I ain't saying? never been spoiled. Like, you feel me? Like, okay, exactly. You see, we come from two different households, yeah. and we do two different, and, like, me and her come from two different types of aspects of life. We both came up in the fucked up part of town, and we both seen a lot. We both been through a lot. We both just struggled a lot. Mm-hmm. But she come from a household where she's not getting spoiled. It's more of everybody in the house getting taken care of equally. And everybody in the house going to get shit that they need and not shit that they want. Right. I was like the, the only child type shit in that specific house. So it was like everything I wanted, I got type shit. Oh, so then I started coming up with getting, having temper, temper tantrums and shit. I had to break that habit. So I ended up getting in trouble a lot, getting arrested a lot, went through a bad, went down a bad path. Thought I was in the streets, so I mean, I'm, I'm here. I'm here now. Man, it's not even only one of me. I got a whole twin brother, a whole 21, 21 year old sister that's only twenty two in a few days, exactly. a nineteen year old brother, bro, and we all just like separated. That one video y'all seen us all together. That's probably the last time we all been together. You feel me? It's just cause like we all grown now. Not not gonna say grown, but we all older now, and like everybody just do their own thing now. Back in the day, we all had to be with each other, so it was a lot of fussing yeah. and fighting. Now that we got older and be able to do what we want, we taking the opportunity to be having a lot of space from each other. Like, oh uh, yeah, like me and my brother, like that's that. I got my brother and a sister. Well, I got two sisters. Both of them in Texas, and then my brother stay out here. We all been separated all our life, so it's like, man, the, the closest person I'm the the person I'm closest to is my brother, though. That's my blood. That's my partner right there, for real. So it's like, man. Basically, I I just wanted to get through some stepping stones, let y'all know some shit about me, do a little mukbang. Man. I've been done eating, but 
fuck it, still talk to y'all, of course. But um, so 50k is on the way, obviously. Y'all don't know that, but I'm finna hit. I'm looking at. I've been looking at this camera the whole time, but y'all don't know that. But <laughs> 50k is on the way. I'm like 200 subs away. Uh, I got a special coming out for that video. It's gonna be a 50k special. It's gonna be a touch on my life, basically a touch on who I am, what I come from, what I do. Y'all gonna get to know me, really. Basically a documentary on BAM. It's gonna be probably 30 minutes to 40 minutes. It's gonna be a long video, hopefully. So yeah, I'm trying to get as much as I can. It's gonna be a vlog slash documentary. So you're gonna see a day a day in the life of me and then it's gonna sit down and have hella questions of me. So y'all stay tuned for that. Got big plans. Man, shit. get my boy to 50K, you feel me? me? Okay, y'all shit. Too. I'm like 500 subs away from 2K. We gonna get there though, on me. you feel me? Shit, but. I'm finna go get some gas for my empty ass tank. My stomach just got filled. Now I need to go fill this motherfucker. But shit, till yeah. tomorrow, it's been bam. Family official.tv. I'm out this morning. Y'all gonna be on mines on Jesus. The hit brainiac. We be thugging on the real ones. 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 Thugging on the